What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games, and today I am delighted because we have got our first news of Star Trek 21. We've done Star Trek 15 to 20. They're lovely. There were six of them. They were brilliant. But they came out in Japan a while ago at this point. Like, I was in Japan in August, fairly early August, and just casually picked up the six of these. And we just got them a few weeks ago in the West. But it feels like it's been a long time since we actually had a new starter deck to talk about. Well, wonderful news, we've got starter deck 21. And what we've been hearing from distributors, etc., has proven, in fact, to be correct. It is a Gear 5 Luffy starter deck. And this looks fun. But we don't have enough information. I'm going to tell you what we know. We're going to do some speculating. Don't get me wrong. We're going to have a good old chat about this. But we don't actually know enough here. Now, it is called Starter Deck EX. Not entirely sure that really means anything. <laughs> But of course it actually does, because we know from previous distributor listings that this is essentially going to be a, a special starter deck. Think the new version of starter deck 13, where you get a bunch of fancy stuff in there, as well as the actual deck. Of course, starter deck 13 had a deck box and three leaders. This has sleeves and one leader. But it's a very similar kind of thing going on here. This is a more expensive, more premium deck list. And we actually did, I showed you the other day, we had listings for this over on Amazon Japan. And this is not your average starter deck, it's 3,200 yen. But again, because we've got the sleeves and everything else going on, it does kind of make sense. And yes, just like Starter Deck 13, we are expecting bonus packs. Well, in the West we are. It'd be weird if we didn't have them in Japan as well. So what do we know? Well, we know the leader is a mono red leader. We do not know what the effect is. Essentially, Bandai are on to us. And when they give us these adverts now, <laughs> they um they blur out all of the effects. So we know we got 5,000 power. We know we've got 5 life. We know it is a strike character for anyone that cares. But that is about the... Oh, no, that was obvious. It's Luffy. Come on. But that is about the best we can tell you for the time being. Obviously, this is not the same as the leader Luffy from OP10. But why would it be? Like, it's a starter deck. It's going to have a new leader. Now, I know starter deck 15 to 20 did actually have reprint leaders, but that's kind of a whole reprint thing. Your normal everyday run-of-the-mill starter decks, all your other starter decks here, they are bringing us brand new leaders. So we got ourselves a new Luffy here, not the OP09 Luffy. But then again, we've already had that one. And that was very different. That's dual color purple and black. This is red. And that one had the whole Don X1. All your characters get a cost upgrade of one. They get plus one cost. And then during your turn, once per turn, if two or more Don are returned to your deck, one gets put back active and one gets put back rested. Lots of potential for this one. And it's, you know, it's popping up over in Japan. We see it doing you know, winning in some flagships here or there, but it is a winning in flagships here or there kind of thing, rather than a this is the top deck in the format kind of thing. And do we even want a Red Luffy leader? We haven't had a Red Luffy leader since the beginning of the game. Like, the leader of Starter Deck 1, I suppose canonically the first ever leader, was a mono Red Luffy. And then, of course, we did have in OP01... We got ourselves the dual color red and green Luffy leader. But we've not had one since. And look, this is going to be Straw Hat, right? Everyone knows this Luffy is going to be a Straw Hat Luffy. And for what it's worth, it is a Straw Hat Luffy. So we've got competition here. You know, the one from Starter Deck 1 had its time. It's not really good at the moment. But activate main once per turn. Give his leader or one of your characters a rested Don. And then, of course, we've got the OP01, which can also use green and activate main once per turn, pay four to set a supernova or straw hat character with a cost of five or less active with a 1,000 power boost for the turn. So, you know, there's other Red Luffy. We don't necessarily 
need the red Luffy. Now, I'm not saying it's not welcome, but I absolutely am saying we don't necessarily need it right now. Oh, and I should say it's not just Straw Hat, it's also four Emperors. You can see two designations at the bottom there. The left one is four Emperors, the right one is Straw Hat Pirates. Obviously, canonically, in the manga, Luffy is now one of the four Emperors. Gear 5 Luffy is one of the four Emperors, but Luffy wasn't back in OPO 1 or Starter Deck 1. Maybe that ends up making a difference? All I'm saying is we're going to need to be convinced here. Because the other thing is OPO 9 gave us Shanks, Mono Red Shanks. Which, at least on release of OP09 in Japan, was the best deck. It's still winning a bunch of flagships, but it didn't make the final of the big qualifying tournament there a couple of weeks ago. So, you we can debate as to exactly how good Shanks is in Japan right now. But it is at least a top deck, even if not necessarily the top deck. And that is Mono Red. But then again, it's not Straw Hat Pirates. Interestingly enough, it is Four Emperors. But then it's obviously Red Haired Pirates rather than Straw Hat Pirates. So we've got all that stuff like Nami from back in OP01. You know, your red generic Straw Hat Searcher. So all of that kind of stuff can still be used. So wait and see, I suppose. We're going to need something here. Either a Straw Hat 4 Emperor combo that becomes very relevant, or an effect which is significantly better than the 5,000 power 5 life mono red Luffy from Starter Deck 1. We'll wait and see. We also have a super rare Zoro which has been teased. 4 cost 5,000 power, and it's got counter plus 1,000, and under some situation it has Rush. Now, I, I can't read that whole thing. I don't know exactly what's going on. But there is clearly Rush there. You, you can see the little, the little bauble. Like, if I show you a Japanese scan, because obviously this is in Japanese. We need to keep it straight. If we show you the Japanese Zoro from OP01, honestly, it's a great excuse to show you the wonderful Akira Egawa artwork right now. You can see that that little Rush is, you know, it, it's right there. It's the same little thing. However... It's not at the front of the text. Now, it might just be Don X1. It might literally just be Don X1. It looks like there might be a little bit of a black thing there. But then again, the, the art is black as well. So we've got to take out of a pinch of salt. But it looks like it might just be Don X1. This character gains Rush. Which, honestly, I'm totally okay with. And, ironically, would mean it would work nicely with the Luffy from Starter Deck 1. So you play this on turn 2 when you've got 4 Don. Oh, I need a Don to activate Rush. And leader Luffy's like, mate, I've got you. And that would be kind of ironic if it worked better with the old Luffy we've had since the very beginning of the game. Either way, we do have a super rare Zoro coming. So, And there is another effect there as well that I don't know too much about. And I don't really want to even try and guess. It seems like it's an on-play skill, but that's the best I can tell you. We'll have to wait and see. What else have we got going on here? Well, we've got the front of the box, which actually shows an unblurred Luffy, but it's way too blurry to actually be able to tell. Although that does have a Don X something skill. But, I mean, I've tried zooming in, all right, dudes? I've tried. I've tried my best. I don't know what this says, and I don't think you do either. Sorry about that. But we also see that there is a character Luffy, which probably shouldn't surprise you. It's a Luffy deck. And I'm fairly sure that's Morley. That looks a lot like Morley right now. Which would kind of make sense. Morley does tend to be a red character. But he's not a straw hat pirate. Unless I'm going dumb here. But I'm pretty sure Morley's not a straw hat pirate. Morley's a revolutionary army dude. Yeah, I'm on onepiece.fandom.com and Morley is only affiliated, apparently, with the revolutionary army. So, I'm not sure why we're getting Morley in here. But, I mean, look, it looks like Morley. It, the, the facial hair there looks like Morley. I don't know. If you think I'm wrong about this, please do let me know. But that certainly does seem like it might be Morley there. Like the hat, the beard, the whole combo thing going on there. I'm just saying it looks like it, all right? I am not 100% sure, but that's my best guess. That does seem about right. 
as always, we'll know when we know a little more about the deck. I am personally hoping that this deck actually gets revealed tomorrow. Friday is when Japan does their big news drop. That's when Japan does their big, hey, here's some news. So if we got adverts coming out for Starter Deck 21, it feels like tomorrow would be a great time. So hopefully tomorrow I'll be coming back with a video saying officially revealed and telling you all about Starter Deck 21. For now, I mean, give me some predictions, dudes. Tell me what you think this is all going to be about. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Got us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching. Wassy plays.